Today we're going to look at complex fractions. What in the world is a complex fraction? Well, it's a fraction with a fraction either in the numerator, the denominator, or hey, it could even be in both. Think of fractions as division problems. That's going to be the key to doing these next few problems. So we have one half divided by three-fourths. Notice you have both a fraction in the numerator and the denominator. So what we want to do is treat it like a division problem. So it'll be one half divided by three-fourths. Now we can simply multiply by the reciprocal, which would be four over three. Notice that I'm going to go ahead and simplify before I multiply. And we end up with two over three or two thirds. So one half divided by three-fourths is two-thirds. Now let's look at this next one. Notice here is our fraction bar. It's five divided by one-third. So we can write that as five over one divided by one-third, which becomes five over one times the reciprocal, which is three over one. Five times three is 15. 15 over one is 15. And finally, our last example, when we look at this one, it's 8 ninths divided by 2. So that would be 8 ninths divided by 2 over 1. We are simply going to multiply by the reciprocal, which would be 1 over 2. We can simplify before we multiply, and we get 4 ninths. So 8 ninths divided by 2 is 4 ninths, and that really makes sense. So that is complex fractions. You'll be seeing those in your unit rate problems.